tonight, a Homestead High School student charged with extorting two girls for sex. Authorities say the teen used the popular text messaging app Kick to target the girls. CBS 4's Donna Rapato is live at the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center with the story. Donna? Yeah, Elliot Rudabay, this app is the same one a 13-year-old Virginia girl used just a couple of months ago to communicate with an 18-year-old man who's now charged with murdering her. Now, in this particular case, police say this Homestead High School student used cake to coerce sex from two younger students, two girls. That student, the 18-year-old, he's in jail tonight. Terry Fenelon. 18-year-old Terry Fenelon was not in class at Homestead Senior High Wednesday. Instead, he was in bond court before a judge accused of sexual battery by coercion and making threats, all four counts felonies. The arrest warrant says Fenelon threatened two students, 15- and 16-year-old girls, with harming them and their family if they didn't send him nude pictures. Then he coerced them into oral sex on campus or he'd send the pictures to family and friends. Detectives say Fenelon proved he meant business by knowing where the girls lived and what they were doing. They feel completely humiliated which is what they, he wants. He wants them to feel controlled and humiliated, and he manipulates them into having coerced sex with them. State Attorney Catherine so Fernandez sad. Rundle says Fenelon's threats to the girls were all made using the Kick instant messaging app. Kick Messenger criticized for being unsafe for minors with little to no way for parents to monitor it. Rapists and sexual predators now are using the new technology to, to lure, to manipulate, and to force, for instance, in this case, coerce sex. At Homestead High, word of Fenelon's arrest and the accusations quickly spread among students. Yeah, I know him. I'm a dog, actually. I would never expect something like this, but, you know, he was always kind of weird, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, like, if that ever happened to me, I don't know what I'd do. I'm not allowed to use kick because of what's going on and how kids are nowadays. I'm actually fine with that. It's keeping me safe. I'm in my school. I'm doing my work. I'm in sports. I'm fine. And the state attorney urges more possible victims or anyone with information to give them a call. Her office has a special hotline, and that number is on the screen. Meanwhile, Terry Fenelon remains here in jail, the judge denying him bond. We're live at TGK. Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News Tonight.